We're actually gonna run a projection to show why IUL is going to provide more retirement income than the stock market. You're using 30 year figures. I don't have 30 years left. I'm in my early 40s. So we're going to adjust that down to a 25 year window. Now your projection for the index funds, you're assuming a guaranteed 10% rate of return in the stock market over the next 25 to 30 years, which is nowhere near guaranteed and it's not what's happened over the last 25 years. Looking over the last 25 years, the S&P 500 has done just 6.9%. Now, let's assume that you actually reinvested all of your dividends. It's returned 8.8%. Now, in these projections, I'm going to be very generous to you. I'm gonna assume that that 8% is going to be net of all fees, that there's no fees on this. I'm also going to assume that you're not like the average investor who underperforms the market by 25% because of all of your timing mistakes and emotional decisions and all of that. And the IUL is still gonna crush the stock market. Check this out. Okay, we've got 25 years to save, $18,000 per year at an 8.845% interest. And we've got $1.6 million after 25 years. Now, because the stock market behaves like this, that there are bull markets and there are bear markets, we don't know if we're gonna retire into a bull or into a bear. So when you go to withdraw money out of your account during retirement, you have to pace yourself throughout the bear and bull markets following something called the 4% safe withdrawal rule, which means we'll just round up here, which means that you can take out $65,000 per year. With my IUL, after I fund it, I'm able to pull out $118,000 per year, a much higher distribution rate because there's absolutely no stock market risk. And that $118,000 will last me the rest of my life or, or until I'm age 100. Again, this is based on a current index crediting or current index performance of 6.24% on average. Not only does the IUL provide way more cash flow, but this $65,000 is before taxes. So if you save this money in your 401k, you gotta pay federal tax. Even if your federal income tax is only 10% and state income tax only 5%, now you're down to $55,000 of cash flow. And to make matters worse, at that level of distribution, 85% of your social security benefits become taxable. With cash value life insurance, there's no federal income tax, no state income tax, no impact on social security taxation, and it provides much more cash flow with no market risk.